Hi friends, welcome to Lamp Early On. Today we'll be learning about different types of slimes that we can use uh, using ingredients that we can find in our household. We will be reading a story first about glue as it is one of our main ingredients and I hope you enjoy it and get to play around with all the different kinds of limes that you can use at home with home ingredients. I hope you enjoy. And left for brew. Our art teacher says, too much glue never dries. She reminds us, glue raindrops, not puddles. And she warns me, Maddie, too much glue. But my dad and I love glue. At home, we make glue glasses, glue mustaches, and even glue bouncy balls. Mom is happy to be there too. So during art class, I find the fullest bottles of glue. I tip them over and squeeze, bloop. Glue squishes from the orange tips and slops all over. Sequins and googly eyes float around in glue lake. Then it's time for the most important decoration. Geronimo! I belly flop onto the table and roll around, letting the glue and everything else cover me. Time to go to the drying rack, I announce. But when I try to pull myself off the table, I boing right back down. Too much glue, Maddie, too much glue, my teacher squawks. This is bad, there's only half an hour until the end of school, and all I can do is lift my head, wave my hands, and wiggle my feet. The rest of me is a buckly, stucky mess. Can somebody help me, I call? While my teacher breathes into a paperback, Noah shouts, let's lasso him. Izzy, Noah, and Owen get to work. So I'm roped up from all the sides of the rodeo pony, but when they try to pull me out, snap! The lasso breaks, leaving colorful octopus tentacles everywhere. The glue is too strong, and now I'm a dingy, stringy, blackly, stucky mess. Don't worry, Maddie, we know what to do, shout Luke and Grace from across the room. Is that a new tow truck? I ask as they wheel the construction over and stick a plastic hook into my suit of glue. My friends pull one way and the glue pulls the other. Click, clack, creak, clack, until... Kaboom! The tow truck explodes and plastic bricks rain all over. Now I'm a clingly, brickly, clingly, stringly, buckly, stucky mess. The school nurse in comes in and checks my temperature. 98.6. Sorry, no fever. I can't send you home early. She dabs and pats me like I'm spilled juice. But the more the blocks, the more glue spreads. Soon I'm a melty, mummy, clicked, bricky, clingly, stringy, blucky, stucky mess. Then the principal comes in. He takes one look at me, sticks a note on my belly, and leaves. Seeing my teacher huffing and puffing like a train gives me a great idea. I whisper it to Holly and Owen. The final bell rings and everyone freezes except Owen and Haley. It's the biggest one we could make, they shout, furiously flapping a huge paper fan at me. Then just as I'm thinking, I'll be a note on my tummy, melted mummy, clicky, blickly, clinky, stringy, blucky, strucky glue boy. For the rest of my life, my plan works. Something my teacher said could never happen, happens. The glue dried. But I'm still stuck and now I hear footsteps. The doorknob opens. My father and some other carpool parents walk in. Dad comes closer and inspects me. Then he peels me off the table. Glue yarn breaks and all. He spins me around and no one makes a sound. Then Dad smiles. Maddie, you're a masterpiece. He holds me up for everyone to admire. My friends all cheer. The car ride home is interesting. Mom is speechless when Dad brings me in the house but he knows just what to do. Well, kiddo, that says some beautiful things only happen once and this one of those, those things. He gently grips the dry glue in front of my neck and behind the collar and peels me open like a ripped banana. Now it's Dad's turn to glue and he seals up the sides of the me-shaped work of art. I bet it will take all the glue in the art room to make a U-shaped work of art, Dad, I say. Dad laughs. Then he glues a big magnet to the back of my project and hangs it on the fridge. During dinner, we sneak peeks at the masterpiece. And after dinner, we take...
Welcome back, friends. I hope you enjoyed that story about glue and how things can get very, very sticky, just like this activity will. So our main ingredient is gonna be glue today. So our glue is what keeps the slime from like becoming kind of like a solid. And then our paint we're gonna use for um, the color of the slime. So I'm gonna be using green, but you're more than welcome to use any other color you want. We will also be using some baking soda. So a nice little powder that we have in here. And then our solution, which is contact solution, which you can get at any drug mart that you can have near your house, or you can even get it at the grocery store as well. If you're unable to get hands on um, contact solution, you can also use borax that can also replace a contact solution. And you can also find it at the grocery store. And then we're also gonna have a nice bowl so we can start our mixtures some measurements over here and then a nice fork it's easier to mix but then your hands will be getting dirty afterwards as you start picking it up and it gets more solid so we're gonna start we're gonna use some of our glue so this is our main base i'm gonna start off pouring this is depending on how many kits you're making it for if you're only making it for one person and depending on how much you want to add as well and then after that, we're gonna add our baking soda. So one tablespoon. Mix it in there. More. Again, depending on how much you will see that um, you need to mix in, that's how much it depends on gonna go. And then I'm using this, but you can use food coloring as well. So you don't need to use that much, maybe just four dots, food coloring. You might need to add a little bit more just so we can do a mixture. So then we're gonna mix it nice and together. Remember kids, if you need assistance putting in the um, ingredients, you can always ask the guardian to come and help you. You gotta make sure you mix everything in, okay? Like a gooey green. And like I said, you can use different colors, any favorite color that you want. You can even put two colors if you really want to. And this is our basic gel. So once it's done, mix nice and easy. Make sure there's no chunks because you don't want to be finding those afterwards. Once you do that, you're going to add your contact solution. So the contact solution, I start off by doing a bit, uh, not too much, just because as you start mixing it in, you gotta see eventually when it doesn't get sticky anymore. So right now it's kind of coming off, so that's what you wanna get it to, but I think we need a bit more. So don't be afraid to use as much as you want. The only thing is that if you use too much, it might become a little bit too watery. So make sure you're really mixing it in there. So once you feel that your uh, fork is not really working, you're more than welcome to use your hands. What I like about using your hands is that you can really tell how sticky it still is. So see how it's still sticky? That means it's not ready. So you can add more contact. And just keep mixing it. Good. What I also help find to keep it together more is the baking soda. So again, like I said, you can start off with a measurement, but eventually you gotta kinda measure it yourself. So add that in, that usually helps it become less sticky because the whole point of slime is that it doesn't end up being too, too, too sticky. So there we go. So this might take a little bit of time. Ooh. And this is a great way for kids to be doing their sensory. Yeah, that's fun. And then continue adding more solution until eventually it comes off your hand. See how easily it's coming off? And don't be afraid if it's like too wet. That's totally fine. So right now it's getting there. See, it's getting less sticky. So there we go. Keep mixing. You want to get the solution in all parts of the um, slime. And you can use your other hand. See how easy it's coming off now? 
it's not supposed to stick. So that's the whole point of the solution. So keep it going. So it should be coming off the thing. If you feel like it's still a little too sticky and you don't want to stick it off, remember I keep adding more solution. There we go. Mix it in. There you go. And should, oh, there. And then once you have it, I think we're good right now. There we go. Now it's not sticky anymore. You can remove it from there and start playing around with it. So sticky. And that's how we make our normal slime. So it's easy to remove. Um, it comes off by water. So if you put, like get it on the surface that you don't want it on, it's so easy to take off. It's not messy at all. And it's fun and stretches. And you can make it different colors too. This one is a little bit wet. Um, so it's like cold. So if you wanna use like warmer stuff, warm it up a little bit. And then I suggest putting it in a sit lock bag once you're done using it. See how easy it comes off? You just take it, take it, put it in. Take it, take it, put it in. And then you just continue playing with it. And you can make many different shapes with this. That's all my thing. <laughs> you can make different shapes, play around with it. Sometimes you can even make um, bubbles with it. I don't have a straw right now, but if you have a straw, you can like insert it in a little pocket and then just play around with it. And here we are with our green slime. Wow, it's very stretchy, great for sensory playing with the kids. And it's super easy to make. It didn't even take us like five minutes. And then once it's done sticky, see? Not sticky anymore, you don't see any gooey. You're ready to go and play. So I hope you enjoyed that. Our next activity will be making it a fluffy slime. So it kind of looks similar, but it will be coming out a little bit more fluffy. So hope you enjoyed everyone. I hope it was easy to make and I can't wait to see how you guys did your own. Have a good one. Welcome back friends. I hope you enjoyed the other previous video about how to make the classic slime. Now that we've done that, we're gonna move on to a more fluffy one which is called the fluffy slime. So we're gonna be using similar ingredients like glue, a different color paint. So this time we're gonna be using blue. We're gonna use our contact solution. This time we'll be adding shavy cream to get that fluffy texture. And then our baking soda with some measurements as well. And then our bowl where we'll be putting it. So we're gonna start off by putting in the glue. So remember you're putting in as much as you need depending on how many people you will be making this for. Then we're gonna add our paint. Almost running out of blue here, but we're gonna still use it. Don't need that much. And then instead of paint, if you don't have any, you can also use um, the uh, food coloring like we said earlier. Then we're gonna be adding our baking soda. Remember the same thing with the baking soda. Um, depending on how much you are making, and it also depends on how long it takes for the um, slime to get the texture going, it's how much you're depending on putting. For the shaving cream, make sure that you get cream and not gel, just because then it won't, um, the contacts and the materials will not do a chemical reaction. It will just go flat, maybe possibly even like watery. So make sure you're adding that. As well, just being careful that you don't add too much just because shaving cream does tend to get um, big, if you can see how like it's growing. So just not too much, but just enough for you to be using it. So once you have all those ingredients, we are gonna use your spoon. Oh, looks like fun. And you're gonna mix it all. Make sure you mix the sides together. So with the glue, because it is at the bottom of the shaving cream, you wanna make sure that you are getting everything inside there. And then as well as the paint, 
making sure you hit all the way at the bottom that you haven't missed any spots. Looks like a baby blue. And keep mixing, make sure you hit all the way at the bottom. Get my glue. Okay, and then double checking that there are no um, little spots where the baking soda has uh, accumulated, so little like bubbles. I can show you mix this all the way because you don't want to be seeing surprises later when you're playing with it, right? And then friends, if you need a parent guardian while helping you mix these stuff in, make sure you do ask for assistance. So once you have that in, we are going to be adding our contact solution. So again, we don't really have a measurement exactly of how much to add, but we're going to start off with a good amount. And then once we mix it in, we are going to see how much more we might need. So remember, we're trying to get it to the point where it's not sticky anymore because we don't want to get too sticky. Like it's sticky, but it comes off your fingers very easily. So I think we're kind of getting there. So you can see that it's slowly coming off. So we're just going to be adding a little bit more contact. It will be a little bit wet, just like the other slime that we did earlier. So expect that. Oh, look at that, we're working. It's slowly coming off. Just because it is foam, um, you do, it might take a little bit longer than it usually does. Just as you can see, we might have to still add a little bit more. I also do encourage, remember in like the last one, we added more baking soda that does help activate the chemicals for it to stop being too sticky. So make sure you put that in. should almost be there wow so it is getting the texture we're almost there so we might just have to add a bit more solution but also if you're going to be adding more um, baking soda please make sure that you are um, mixing it in very very well okay we don't want to be finding little pieces of it anywhere okay i think we're getting there And then if you get tired with using your, your fork, you can also use your fingers as well. So it is kind of ready. So, so you can see it's coming off. So now that we have it out of the water, as you can see, this one tends to be a little bit more sticky just because of the foam. But once you have it all together, it's a nice <laughs> fluffy little piece. And then what I found very useful, I like find that it was helped out a lot, is when you're grabbing it with your hand so you can start the play right away. Making sure that the little ones don't put it in their mouths. Um, this is shaving cream, so it's not really good. I did find that if you play around with it with your hands, the less sticky it will be. So then you can play. Make sure you see, see how it's coming off my hands very easily. You put it around, it's like a big flop, <laughs> but it's, it's fun. It's very, very sensory. I and mean, it is very fluffy as you can see um it's fun it's a little bit wet but it's not actually not as wet as the one we did before i think it has to do with the foam that we put in but it is another fun play and this one actually um you don't need to make too much because as you can see i even have extra in there and it just became a lot so that actually helps a lot too so if you don't want to be making or using too much ingredients from your household so that should really help out. And then, then this is how we make it. I hope you enjoyed that video, everyone. We will be learning how to make one more um, slime, which is the water slime, which doesn't use as many ingredients as we use right now. But yeah, this is how you do it. You get to play different colors. And this one is actually more fluffy, which makes the color look a little bit more friendly too. I hope you enjoy. We will see you in the next uh, upcoming slime video. Yay! Hi friends, welcome back. We're gonna be moving on to our third um, slime recipe for the day. This time, it's called the water slime recipe. So we're gonna be using our bowl, 
We're gonna be using a few beads. You can use um, glitter if you don't have any, or you can use any other type of little small things that you can put into slime that will make it more colorful. And then for this one, we're gonna be using clear glue, Elmer's clear glue, just so you can see more of the colors instead of adding like food coloring or paint. And then we're gonna use a bit, a tiny bit of water. And then our usual of um, contact solution, okay? So we're gonna start off with the glue. We're gonna add half a cup of clear glue. That was really cool. So half a cup of these, like about half of this. And then we're gonna add water. So not too much because we don't want it to be um, watery. And we're gonna mix that together. If you feel like you did put a lot of water, um, I suggest putting in more glue. So like right now I feel like I put a little bit too much. So you're more than welcome to add more glue just to make up for that. Okay. This also will most likely come out kind of um, watery. So instead of baking soda, we will be using the water this time. So once you do that, I don't know if you can really see it because it's clear water and it's clear glue. Make sure you're mixing all of it in. Should be good. This one, you can see all the bubbles. You're gonna be adding the contact solution. So like I said in the other two videos, you start off with a certain amount and then eventually as you get going, you will switch the amount. So if you feel like it's, it is a little bit too watery, you can add some of the baking soda just to kind of help you like mix the chemicals together. So because it is white, it should come out still clear. It's just a little bit for this one. Remember, like I said before, you need to make sure that you're mixing all of it together. And add more of that. You don't want it to be sticky. So it should be coming together. So now it's like a little bit cloudy, which is fine. It's still kind of clear. Oh, pretty sick. You can add a little bit more of your baking soda. Remember, this is kind of like a estimating game because depending on how long it takes it for it to get more of a solid that's how like it will become there we go and then remember we keep adding our solution sometimes we do end up having to need a lot just because it does help out remember you can use borax as well in case you can't find a solution in any way And you could get all the aspects of it. So once you add the baking soda, you will see that it kind of became more like cloudy color, which is fine because it's still it's counting as clear. So you keep messing with it. And then remember, keep adding your contact solution. You gotta activate it. There we go. So it's getting very um, um, gooey. So that's where we want it to be. So again, it's going to be like the other ones where it is going to be um, a little bit more wet, right? So we're almost there. So once you're done, I, I technically like using my hands because with my hands, I can really tell how much more I need. I'm going to keep adding the solution. 
there. With your hands, you can feel it more that you, if you need more or more less. And personally, I think this is getting better. So you should get like a white color. So what's cool about this one is that you add water, which is not what we added in the other ones. And then it's also clear, so that's cool that you can add like these little figurettes on it. So remember this one tends to have a little bit more just because um, just because it has water instead of more glue. So mix that all in. And it is gonna be very like the feeling's gonna be watery, right? Just like remember. So it's starting to work. So we want it to be like a gooey feeling. Also, what's good about your hands is that you're manipulating it, which helps it move faster than the fork. Your hand is actually moving around. And what's cool about this type of slime is gonna be a little bit more sticky than the other ones. Just because, again, it doesn't have as much glue and you're using water, which makes it even more watery. And there we go. So, okay, once you're good to go, once it's slipping out of your hands, I like to play around with it on the table. We're gonna get that out. Yep, there you go. <laughs> I like how it spreads out too. Get that all out. See how it's coming out. And what's great about slime is that it's messy, but it's very easy to clean. It comes off right away. So once you do that, manipulate it on the table so it gets used to the surface. And look at that, it's coming off your hands, easy. So that's how you know when it's ready. So we got this nice white looking color <laughs> happening. So what I like to do to make this even more interesting and have more sensory built into it is that I put in the middle, I'm gonna put some of the glitter that you have or I'm gonna put these little purple snowflakes. So put it all around. There you go. And then you're just gonna cover it all up you're gonna feel it around. So now you have two different sensories and when you spread it out, you can see the little um, snowflakes around all around. There you go. And more sensory. If you wanna even add like more sensor into this, I'm gonna add, I think I'll add the pink ones. Not too many, but just a few to add more sensory to this line. There we go. So then again, you mix it all up. Make sure you get all of the things around. And now it's like a nice big cloud full of other little purpley things. You can even add other stickers. You can add stickers, glitter, different colored glitter should be very, very fun. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is our slime. This is the water slime. So it comes with water, so I guess it looks like clear water. And then if I added some baking soda to help me um, make it more sticky um, because with the water, it makes it a little bit more liquid. So it does help it keep the slime more together. And here is friends. I hope you enjoyed that. Okay friends, so that concludes our video for the day. We made some great slime, different kinds if you ask me. So we made our normal classic slime that we can play around with. So this one, this one's cool. It comes off, look at that, really easily. Comes off, you can make it any color you want. And then for each one, you can also keep it in a Ziploc bag um, so you can reuse it again. Or if you wanna throw it out, you can even make uh, more. So this is the classic slime, it spreads out. You can even make bubbles with it. Um, if you have a straw with you, you can put shapes, you can put some glitter on it, you can even put other little different materials on it as well. And this was easy to break. You can break it nice and easy. So like if you want to share with your sister or brother or cousin or a friend even, you can share as well. And then you can put it down. Our second slime that we made was our fluffy slime. So remember this one? This one's also very easy to come off. Easy, see? This one's very fluffy. Um, I would suggest playing with this one right away. The foam tends to eventually kind of dissolve. Um, so I would suggest that. So easy to clean up too. 
It comes out very easily. You can use any colors and even add glitter to it if you really want to. See how it's coming off a little bit as since we made it? <laughs> so I would suggest using that. Our last one that we made that we just recently saw was our water slime. So this one we use different ingredients by using water and we also used, um, we used clear glue for this one. So then it's very easy to come off too as you can see. This one is more sticky and um, as you can see, it's not as easy to come, the other ones come off because of the water texture, but it's still very easy to clean. It doesn't stick necessarily. As you can see, it comes off right off. And then for this one, we added more sensory to it by adding little beads that come into the thing, um, as well as little snowflakes. So you can see it. What's cool about this one is that we color the water one because it's clear. And that's why it's cool to add different textures to it so you can even find little things. So like this one, there's a little heart and then you can see the little snowflake and it's just more fun for the kids. You can also split this one into half, eventually. <laughs> it's easy to do that. You can share with your friends, siblings, anyone, and even your parents. It's very like um, stress relieving because you're just playing around using different types. And this one's not as watery, it's more sticky. So if you don't really like the textures of water or like foamy, this one is the way to go. Um, as it's not as watery as this one, but you see how easily that moves. This one is a little bit harder to stick, see? More stickiness. So I hope you enjoy your video, everyone. And I hope you have some fun making some slime at home using home ingredients that you can find either in the drugstore or even in, at your home. And I hope you enjoyed. We will see you next time.